this man right here deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Now, I've been on the Thomas Morstead bandwagon playing trumpet first chair since I've been punting. He's been instrumental to the further development of the technique of punting, and I don't think I could write an in-depth enough essay to show what he's really meant to the specialist community, but thanks to a combination of bad weather and offenses that appeared to have arrived at the stadium on a bus half of the regulation size, we got to see the full Morstead effect. Now, this game is filled with great punts. In fact, across Morstead's enormous 11 punts, he had five of those go over 50 yards, completely flipping the field, even with the short return some of them had. Meaning that six of his punts that didn't go over 50, every single one of those was still above 40, which is what we like to call the baseline of an effective punt. And there weren't any critical returns, which is insane given the absolutely treacherous conditions that they were being punted in. But why people are really trying to get this guy an MVP bid is because not once, not twice, but thrice he was able to absolutely punish Gunnar Oshevsky's decision to let the ball go over his head. The first one comes in the first quarter. Thomas Morrison drops the nose and lays up a pooch punt, which takes one short bounce forward and then sits on the two yard line like a dog waiting for a treat. Then just two punts later, he's only a couple yards away from where he just punted, but this time going the other direction. And he pulls off the improbable again, 52 yards on a punt that finds itself at the three yard line, absolutely stifling stifling the Giants play calling abilities from this point. And while these punts were important because both times the Giants would hardly get past the 25 yard line on either of the ensuing drives, near the end of the game, the Jets are looking for just any way to get back in it. And Thomas hits the best one yet, 43 yards, perfect bounce, out of bounds at the three, and I promise you everybody watching this couldn't have put it more accurately if they were 20 yards closer than he was, as at the ripe age of 37, Thomas is still kicking it like he's 27, and the Jets are going to have to build a shrine to this man outside of the stadium when he retires. Fell in 20 years.